Hey, Denny is a 58-year-old authentic stern wheeler based in Charleston. And the brand new West Virginia Bell. Huntington is home to this paddle wheeler. And welcome back to our celebration of Tall Stacks 88. It's been great. You know, when we first started this program back on Friday, you know, I thought for a while we were all bicentennialed out with, with the with the, uh, the celebration on July 4th and the fireworks, fireworks. celebration and, and all that. But uh, this has just caught on and being down there on the river and watching the, there you see the waterworks that they have right in the middle of the river. They're using the river as like an ultimate fountain. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's been a great event. People that have been down here have just loved it. They said they've never seen anything like it. And the fact is they're telling you the truth. This is more than just fireworks. This is a real part of our history. And you know, when we... An estimated crowd of what? 500,000 were supposed to that's come right, down here? That's right. And I don't think anybody was disappointed. No, I don't think anybody was. You know, when we think about the river, we think about the fun we have in it with the pleasure craft. We also think in terms of its beauty, the sunsets and the shimmering waters. But perhaps the most important part of our river is the business that it brings to our area. The tow barge business is big business. One of the leaders in this industry is located right here in the Queen City. A division of Midland Enterprises, the Ohio River Company is located in the 580 building. It's the largest mover of dry bulk commodities on the inland waterways. The company's barges have been traveling past our city for over half a century. We started business in 1925, so uh, just about 63 years ago. Started with uh, three steam paddle boats and about 100 barges. From this central point, the dispatchers can provide precise information on each of the barges and the goods that they carry. The board, along with the computer, acts as a kind of visual aid. At a glance, they can keep track of some 2,200 barges operating on a dozen or so rivers. A variety of products are transported on these different rivers. Principal products are coal, grain, coal, steel and scrap, gasoline, other chemicals. In order to transport these products, a number of different types of barges are needed. Well, we operate uh, approximately 80 tow boats that range in size from 1,000 horsepower on up to 10,500 horsepower. And we operate approximately 2,200 barges that vary from open barges that carry coal or aggregates to covered barges for grain to various tank barges for chemicals and gasoline products. With so many barges on different rivers, an effective means of communication is a necessity. For this reason, the Ohio River Company operates radio station WCM. It operates 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and the main purpose of it is to communicate with our boats. Anything that happens on a boat gets reported into the radio station, which then it puts it into our computer system and has it available for our people in the office. It also serves as an emergency situation. If a boat has a problem, he calls the radio station. The radio operators know who's responsible that evening for any various problem that would come up. The Ohio River Company explored the beauty of the river. Commissioned Gregory Lindsay Thorpe to photograph different aspects of it. The results seem to capture the true essence of the waterway. The Ohio River Company is a thriving modern company based on an old idea. 